Let's talk about your massage stones. You might think that everything we've had on this table is massage stones, but not necessarily. They've been chakra stones, spinal layout stones, some neck stones, stone placement. But now these are your primary, the stones that you're primarily going to massage with. There's 12 of them. They're various shapes and sizes so that you have um, the ability to address different muscles in the body. Different, is it the leg or is it the hip? What are you addressing? So these are your effleurage stones, the ones that you use most of the time. You will also incorporate your chakra stones or your spinal layout stones for effleurage, but these are the ones that you're gonna use in the supine position as well as prone. They come in different sizes and thicknesses so that you can accommodate different body parts and be able to offer the temperature, these are all hot stones, be able to offer the temperature at different levels. Because of the density and the mineral composition, the stone holds heat differently. So this stone's gonna cool off a lot faster than this one does. This stone's gonna stay the hottest out of all of them because of the dense black that it has in it. These are the stones that are eff used in effleurage and they're loose in your heating unit. We keep them loose. You will always work them as pairs. They are always paired. You always work two at a time and leave the same pairs in the client's hands. You don't work them separate from one another.